Are you wondering how to create a baseline in your Smartsheet Gantt chart? Well, if that's the case, then you've come to the right place because in today's video, I'm gonna be showing you exactly what you need to do. So for the purpose of this demo, I have opened up an example sheet with various different tasks. Now, what you're going to need on your sheet is at least two date columns. So for the purpose of this demo, I've got a start date and an end date for each task. At which point you want to select the Gantt view and you should see this particular view on your screen. Obviously we can expand the Gantt chart accordingly. I'm actually going to put this over here so we can see the date columns. Now to create a baseline, all you need to do is hover over to the baselines button, which is up towards the right of the interface. Click this. And then at this point, you just need to toggle this on. Now, sometimes it will be toggled on by default, but this is where you need to go to create it and to check it out and perhaps even to turn it off if you don't want it on anymore. So literally left click here. And at which point you will see the actual, which is the uh, 21st of the 8th, 2024 and the end 23rd of the 8th, 2024. We've also got our baseline here. Now, if you hover over this, it gives you a little bit of insight. So baselines include tasks and dates from when they were last set. So you can reset the baselines to include any newly added tasks. And it gives us our baselines here. So the 21st of the 8th, uh, 2024, and an end of the 23rd of the 8th, 2024. And you will see on the variance here, it is on schedule. Now you can press the reset button here and you can also remove if you need to. But if I press okay now, you will see the baselines on the Gantt chart. So if I remove them, you will see that those lines have disappeared underneath each and every task. So that's how to set a baseline in a Gantt chart in Smartsheet. I hope this video is useful. Any questions, comments, feedback on this process, drop them down below. If you are looking for Smartsheet training, there will be a link in the description as well, which will take you over to my available Smartsheet training courses and get you up and running with the software and basically getting the most out of it. So with that said, best of luck and I hope you have an excellent day.